What's up? It's the Canadian Fisher here on Nick Fleming Vlogs. In today's video, we're basically counting down what discussing the top 10 essential things you need for trout fishing or the top 10 things you need for trout fishing, whatever you want to say it, how you want to say it. And but basically, if you've never seen the top 10 essential things you need for ice fishing or the things you need for ice fishing, I did a video on it and uh, it was last winter and a couple of videos back. If you want to check it out, uh, it will be in, in, in the link down below. And I got 10 things in the, this bag right here. We're counting down. So let's start. We're going to go down, to start with 10. And the number one will be uh, the must have thing you need for tr trout fishing. The must thing. So let's start with number 10. Uh, and these are not in order, so basically, um, I grab what's in the bag and say, explain it, and then move on. So number ten, it's a net. Basically, the net is for if you catch a trout, a sea trout, probably or a brook trout. We have in this river behind me, right now. It's quite low, actually, uh, and uh, this. Every spring sea trout run up here and brook trout stay here year round. So uh, this is a net so if you do catch a fish you just go like this and scoop up the fish. It's pretty amazing. But I recently not been doing it. I don't really have room for this. And I just get it all pick the lot like the fish up, grab the line and pick the fish up. And number nine is I added this because you don't want to get sunburnt. It is sunscreen. The sunscreen is so great. This is a copper tone. Uh, everyone is great, but SPF, FPS, uh, 60, and it says it's oil free or UV, UVA or UVB, UVB protection. And it's oil free, but I don't know how oil free it is. It feels like regular sunscreen to me. So that's sunscreen. Number 10. No, my bad. Number 8. Uh, I don't know. Number 8 is, uh, it's pretty obvious you need some worms. Yes, I do buy worms. Uh, I dig them. Too lazy to dig them. But this is uh, worms. This is basically, it's empty. But these are great to have for trout fishing because this, I guess, tr trout like worms around here. And you're not supposed to use three hooks around here, like just a single hook. So it's worms. Number seven. Number seven is another good thing to have. Bug dope or bug spray. It doesn't have to be blue. It can be like green. It's just off deep wood sportsman insect repellent. So basically bug spray. This is the top of the line stuff. And it's really good. It, protection from like black flies, mosquitoes and stuff like that. I don't know how well it works on deer flies, but it works. So Another useful thing to have. I never forget the house without the bug spray. Uh, number six is uh, number number three. No, not number three. That's too small. Uh, number six or seven trout hooks. Basically, these are the hooks I was talking about. I take them out of the bag and I'll show you. Yeah, see. Hopefully you can see them. That's what they look like. And everybody knows what a hook looks like, right? It's basically you put that on a spinner and there you go. So don't have much things to say about this. Number five. We got not too much stuff left. Number five. Now I use these all the time for trout fishing. Uh, 
this is works the best for me. Uh, Red Devil Spinners. Basically, the Red Devil Spinners are really great because they catch fish. What else can I say? They, they, you tie them to the line and basically you hook the hook on here and it gives a rattle and a noise, rattle noise. I don't know how well, but it moves in the water. Uh, they work pretty good. And there's like silver, gold, and stuff like that. But I use Red Devil spinners and I use a little bit of silver, but these work the great, greatest. Number four. Uh, now, these are, this is uh, the thing you need. This is another useful thing that my friend recommended to me, but I never used before. But I, until I start hanging around with him, then I started using them. These are called ball bearing swivels. Basically, uh, it, it keeps your line from twisting. So when you cast and reel in, if you don't have a swivel on, the line twists and basically that's what happens and when you catch a fish it twists the, twists the fish around a little bit but you put on, on some ball bearing swivels and it solves the, solves the issue number my, number three is very useful too every single thing in this bag or is really useful so pliers these are really good pliers but I guess any pliers are good but these are the pliers so if you catch a fish and uh, fish swallow the hook um, just take the pliers grab and pull out and, and be careful though because tr you know with trout uh, they can be a little bit what's the word uh, fragile or you gotta be careful anyway unless you are keeping them it doesn't really matter if you're keeping them but if you're throwing them back I'd be careful number two number two uh, these are great um, the, these are weights or split shots I'm not going to take them out of the bag, just show you them, show you in the bag. Basically, you put the, these on your line, and if you're real, you cast and it's not casting far enough, or if you want to get down deep, these are so great because uh, it likes, they let your line go to the bottom. And it depends how much you put on your line. I usually put one or two, three's just about overdoing it, but still, they're great to have. Now, number one. Basically, this number one, I don't usually really bring this, but my friend, my stepbrother recommended it to me. The first aid kit. And this got like everything in it and everything that you need if you cut your finger or get a hook in your finger, uh, then you would might want to bring this. I just thought of this. Like they're great to have, and got. I show you the inside. And everything's falling out. Got like the wipes, uh, band aids, and this is the tongue thing, just in case. But you, I don't think you want that. All right, so everything's in here that you need. Even got some scissors or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, uh, that, like I said, I don't bring it a first aid kit, but it's good to have, like, or a survival kit or something like that. But I'm going to end off the video now. Hope you enjoyed the top 10 essential things you need for trout fishing. Uh, I just wanted to go through what I bring and what I thought and stuff like that. Tell me in the comments below, below if what I missed or... <coughs> Or if there's anything I should add, should have add or something like that. But hope you guys enjoy. So like, comment, follow me on Twitter and all my social medias will be down in the down below. Uh, I said like and make sure you subscribe. 
No, I said it backwards. Make sure you put the, those notification notifications on by clicking the bell, which is beside my name, but and subscribe to me for more content. Hope you guys enjoyed. Your old pal, the Canadian Fisher, or Nick Fleming Vlogs is out.